will cross that bridge when we come to it. It's common to hear someone use the idiom, will cross that bridge when we come to it, when they want to put off dealing with something until later. Procrastination, the act of putting something off until later, is a human tendency and we are all guilty of it. Procrastination is usually considered a negative thing and is used when someone wants to avoid doing something unpleasant or tedious but will eventually have to anyway. According to some psychologists, procrastination is simply our brain's way of avoiding pain. You promise to do something painful later and instead do something pleasurable now. The problem with this is that procrastination is usually unhelpful and can lead to more problems. If a school assignment is due in a few days and you haven't even started, it is very unwise to put it off for any longer. Many people will indeed put it off until the night before, however. Thus, we'll cross that bridge when we come to it is an idiom often used to delay pain and put off thinking about or doing something until the time that it is absolutely necessary. In another way, the idiom will cross that bridge when we come to it can also be used to mean that we'll deal with problems one at a time. In the midst of a huge project or undertaking, there are always many things to do, and if the team does not work together on one problem, things might get messy. Thus, the team leader might reply, we'll cross that bridge when we come to it during a team huddle. When an issue is mentioned, but everyone is busy dealing with something else. The origin of will cross that bridge when we come to it is not entirely clear, but it is often attributed to Henry Wadsworth Longfellow. Longfellow was an American educator and poet who lived circa the early 1800s. He was the most popular American poet of his day. Let's look at an example of We'll cross that bridge when we come to it in everyday usage. You and your friends are going on a road trip and haven't yet found a place to stay, such as a hotel or a place on Airbnb. And you tell your friends, don't worry about it. We'll cross that bridge when we come to it. We can find a place to stay when we get there. So, you and your friends drive to your first destination and only start looking for a place to stay a few hours before bedtime. Everything might work out fine and dandy, and you guys will find a decent place to stay, but you may end up paying more than necessary and missing out on unique accommodations. Depending on your situation, you may choose to only cross a bridge when you come to it due to procrastination or due to practical reasons.